Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Season 4, Episode 7, The Arena of Carnage. Definitely an awesome action episode, of course. Um, well, with it being the Arena of Carnage, it would be kind of hard for them to, you know, kind of mess this up as an action episode. I think my eyelash just fell in my eye. Um, but I like this one. It was pretty cool. It was actually surprisingly cool because not only do we get, like, a cool action episode, but by the end of this one, the Turtles escape, and we also get to see them escape with a piece of the black hole generator. So the one that they lost, we actually see them get it back two episodes later. So I was like, this is great. Like, that was actually really cool. And I initially just thought, this is going to be an awesome episode. It was a cool fighting episode, kind of filler. Um, introduction of a famous, you know, comic character to Zeno, who is insanely awesome. I love the, the design for Zeno because... You know, initially with him as a Triceraton, I was like, okay, you know, I, it, obviously, I think we could all tell they were going to end up fighting him, so that was easy. Seeing him from, you know, his feet, it was like, okay, sure, he'll most likely have a slightly different design, um, he'll of course have different clothing, he won't just have, like, the sort of army uniforms that they wear, so he will stand out from the other characters, because the only ones that stand out right now is really just the one guy that eventually ends up destroying Earth because he has, like, the messed up face. And that's really it. Everyone else looks the same. Um, the ruler is slightly different because of him wearing different clothing in this episode. But pretty much every Triceraton looks the same, and that's it. So I was like, all right, he's a Triceraton. They're going to fight him. You know, nothing to it. I didn't even really think about, you know, the the design thing. It was just like, all right, you know, he'll look like a Triceraton, and something will come of that. It'll be slightly different. He won't look exactly the same. And then they get to him, and he's like three, he's like probably two and a half Triceratons stacked together. He was like an actual dinosaur, and I loved that. I was like, that is freaking sweet. And he comes out, and you can see the bones in his spine. I was like, that is insane. Like, I'm pretty sure that was actually his spine. Because he also had, like, bones just on him. And stuff, like, I guess from people he defeated. But the bones on his spine, I was like, that is freaking insane. And it was awesome. I loved seeing that. That was really cool. Um, he, had multi he had more horns than the other characters. Um, he had an awesome hammer. It has, like, you know, the smashy, the angry face on it when he hits people. That I thought was funny. Um, but it was really crazy seeing him. I was like, this is one of my favorite character designs that I've seen in the show. And it was really cool. It was a surprising standout compared to, honestly, what I thought was going to happen. And also him being so huge was probably the biggest surprise. Him coming out as like, you know, him, based on how they do it at least, the Triceratons are taller than the Turtles, but they're like eight feet tall humans. That's kind of how that would be. Um, and then he comes out. And he's, like, the size of a T-Rex, you know, comparatively speaking. And it's like, no, you know, this is insane. And it was kind of crazy, like, man, you know, I bet it took a ton of people to take him down and capture him after he decided, you know, not to help them make the Black Hole Generator, which they call the Heart of Darkness, which I thought was really interesting because that's a very famous novel. Um, and I also was just recently doing, like, homework about it. Like, last week, I was like, that's weird that it's, they're calling it the Heart of Darkness. I thought that was interesting. But it was crazy seeing him. It was, that was really fun. He destroyed the turtles, though. I mean, he was just crushing them. Like, he, I think the first move he did was, like, he punched Donatello. Like, everybody moved, and Donatello got hit, and he just launched him in the air. I was like, that had to have hurt. And then he's just beating everybody up. He's just, like, hitting them with the hammer on the ground, slamming them into walls. Um, if I remember right, yeah, he actually has a tail. So that's also pretty different from the other Triceratons. I think they they might have like tiny itty bitty little like nub tails. I really can't remember because I don't really pay that much attention to them. But you know he comes out he's got a full tail and everything. Uh, unless I'm totally wrong about that but I'm pretty sure he had a full tail. And it was just cool like he has you know like I said all the horns and the spikes and stuff and seeing his spine and everything like that. I was like this is a crazy sweet design. And I can't wait to see him come back and be you know, a part of the main action, see him fight alongside the Turtles and take down the Triceratons, and who knows how that'll play out. I'm sure they'll keep him for entertainment, so I'm sure they, you know, he won't, they won't go somewhere and be like, oh yeah, they killed him off. So he'll be fine, he'll come back in another episode, 
Uh, they might actually help him escape in the next episode. He helps the turtles escape in this one, but they might go back and you know help out the new friend. And you know, whenever we get to see Zeno come back again, but he was really cool. Loved his character. Um, helpful to the turtles. Helped them fight the giant weird tentacle thing with like just zero disadvantages. That was pretty crazy. Because when it first came out. Um, actually when it first happened I was like okay it'll be really funny if it comes out and it's like this itty bitty little thing that they just can't defeat and then of course it comes out and it actually is a giant monster and then it's like okay so it's a crazy tentacle creature and stuff and then they do like a run around the thing I'm like they do the the side profile basically and it's like oh this thing has I believe it had three mouths so it had eye mouth eye was straight on top and then a mouth and then an eye and then another mouth maybe or maybe it was in reverse or something like that but it was like this thing has like three mouths and three you know a set of three both mouths and eyes and it was just like this is insane and then somehow Donatello saw this little tiny itty bitty little circle of white I'm like how did he even see that thing flying through the air like that but he destroys it um, they escape. I was surprised. I guess, you know, it's even with it being a 30 minute show or I guess like, you know, 23 minutes. Um, we didn't see um, a lot of different uh, characters within the arena. I thought for sure we were going to see them go through a couple of levels, but it was just like, nope, they beat the main monster, which typically kills off everything. They generally only have to, you know, do the first creature because Zeno says like, people normally just they die like they don't even move on from that first battle last battle and that's it so they actually defeated it and then they go up against the champion and if i remember right they said like this will be your last match if you win this last one you get your freedom so of course they'll strip that from him and he'll be just entertainment even whether he wins or loses stuff like that excuse me but awesome character definitely enjoyed the action um I really like the scene in the beginning where the turtles got captured and they have to use their training to, uh, or I guess I shouldn't say the beginning, but when they first get on the ship and they get captured and they have to use their training to lessen their breathing, that was pretty cool. I thought that was a nice little scene. And then there's like, oh, screw this, and they open up the whole airlock. Um, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, they were sitting there for quite a bit, though, because when everything was getting sucked out and they were still sitting there, I was like, okay I don't care how much training they have they're gonna get sucked out and it seemed like it took quite a bit longer than it should have uh, to me personally I was like that was a little weird it seemed like it took forever for them to finally you know get sucked out like everything else but of course they survive uh, there was a part where I think it was at the end when everyone was escaping I'm like you know man just animated space nobody blows up or anything because you cannot as a human just go into space with zero oxygen and just be like, whew, thank goodness we're floating into the ship. You would explode and you'd be dead. So I thought that was funny. It was just a random thing that was funny to me. Um, the actual beginning of this episode was super awesome because it was really funny. And so we get Shredder, I think it was Shredder, Tiger Claw, and I think Razar was who Mikey was going up against. And it was awesome. Like, they do the video game style, and Leonardo's going up against Tiger Claw, and he beats him. He does a Shoryuken, and then Mikey's like, you know, that's awesome, but a totally wrong game for the Shoryuken. And then, because I knew what it was when they showed it, and it was like, oh, you know, he said that because um, Leonardo did the Shoryuken from Street Fighter, and of course what they're playing is Mortal Kombat. So I thought that was awesome that they even put that line in there. I thought it was really cool that they did that. So then they do, um, you know, the full on Mortal Kombat, and uh, my Mikey does like, um, oh man, there's an actual name for it. I can't remember what it is, but I'm pretty sure they have all those silly ones. And it was, I guess, the closest thing was um, kind of like the friendship thing, because he did like the little balloon, and he had like a balloon uh, for um, Razar's head, if it was Razar that he fought. And I thought that was really funny. I was like, that's totally one of their friendship things. But it was more of a defeat than it was, um, you know, like the actual friendship ending or friendship fatalities, I guess, uh, in the old Mortal Kombat games. But I thought that was really awesome. I was like, that is an insanely great reference. And then it was just even cooler that Mikey actually mentioned the fact that the reference Leonardo made 
technically wasn't the right reference because he was referencing Street Fighter when the game that they were kind of parodying was Mortal Kombat. I was like, that is just a cool thing to put in there for people that recognize it, like myself. So it was just a, a really awesome scene. But I like that. That was that was really cool that they did that. And they were, I like that they were having fun. Um, you know, kind of in you know in the deck. I'm gonna call it the hollow deck, even though that's a, totally from Star Trek. Um, I'm gonna call it that though. But they were just having fun with it, and I thought that was really cool. They were just enjoying themselves, you know, playing around, doing a little bit of sparring, and then Raph and Donnie were going to both go up against um, somebody else. Uh, uh, Bebop and Rocksteady, which would have been awesome. But unfortunately, that gets canceled. I was like, oh, that, I even thought that kind of sucked that they went into like, the main episode, because that would have been really cool to see. But it was a fun episode. I love that opening. It was a great reference, uh, great nerdy references. Uh, the action in general, really fun. Zeno is awesome. Can't wait to see him come back. And uh, we also get April using the crystal in this episode. First time she actually used it. And she mentions that she's done some training with the Fugitoid. And that the crystal allows her to focus her energy. And it allows her to have better control over it. So that was pretty cool. To get her um, using her powers a little, just little bit by little. We get to see more and more power. She's getting more focused power and eventually she probably won't even need the stone itself um, or the crystal piece so really looking forward to that even though I'm sure that's quite a long ways away from now but it was nice like she used her abilities and it was very focused and she used the crystal to enhance them and everything I was like that's really cool but overall definitely a very fun episode love you know can't talk about how much I love Zeno enough because such an epic design, and he was clearly super badass. I would have liked to have seen him fight a little bit more, to be totally honest. But then he kind of gets dogpiled by all the Triceratons, and he tells the Turtles to take off. But it was really fun. Definitely a great episode. They get the um, piece of the Black Hole Generator back for themselves, which really surprised me, because I didn't think that that was going to happen this episode, that they take back, you know, the piece that they lost. So, very enjoyable. Looking forward to the next one. Um, it's been quite a bit, uh, quite, you know, it's technically only been a couple episodes, it's been quite a bit of time, but it's only been a couple episodes, but I, I kind of want to see the bug villain come back, because we haven't really gotten anything out of him, we got him in the premiere of this season, and then he was on the phone in the last episode when the guy was like, hey, I'm going to get some info for you guys, and that's pretty much it, and, you know, we haven't really seen him in this season, he's been in, I think he's honestly had more time in the opening, than he has had in like yeah he's had more time in the opening than he has every episode since the premiere like since he's been in that he's had just more time in the opening than he has any other episode so want to see him come back want to see him as a threat that they have to deal with um if i remember right they do fight the triceratons i think they were in another episode or maybe it was in the premiere where they were actually fighting against the triceratons so I'd like to see this little triangle happen. I don't know if he even knows about the black hole generator or anything like that, so i uh, kind of have to wait and see what's going on with that aspect of things. But if he does get involved in that little rat race that they have going on, that would be pretty cool. I think it would be nice to have two sets of villains. I like the bug villains in general. I thought they were pretty cool when they first showed up, so definitely want to see more of them. But a fun episode for sure. Definitely want to know what you guys thought about it, so please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And, of course, I gotta ask you guys what you thought about Zeno, whether you know him from the comics, um, from the previous versions of the show, or shows, if you, you know, you know him, if he was in the 80s show, he probably was, they actually had a ton of the characters there, but, if you know him from the comics or the shows, or you don't know him in general, I wanna know what you guys thought about him, like I said, I don't remember, I don't really know Zeno, I don't remember the 2003 series, and he, you know, even if he was in it, when it was like maybe 2005 or 6, that's still 10 years ago. So I was like 13, 12, you know, 13, when he may have been in an episode, you know, of the old, the last version of the Ninja Turtles cartoon. So don't really remember anything about him, but I'd certainly enjoy this version of him. Um, can't wait to see him come back, even though it probably won't be for a while. Uh, Episode-wise, of course, it probably won't be for like an entire year until we actually get to see him just, you know, because how the show goes. I hate to say that, but that's true. I'm not wrong when I say that type of stuff. I feel like I'm bashing on the show, but when it happens, like it's been happening for basically every season, 
it's not bashing on the show. It's just kind of stating a crappy part of, you know, how the show kind of gets doled out to us. So, it'll be a while before we see them, for sure. And it, it'll, I'm sure it'll take a very long time, because they won't just, I'm, I doubt that they'll, they'll just bring them back in the, you know, within the next couple episodes, because that'll, that'll be great, but I'm sure they'll be focusing on, like, well, let's get them to either, you know, the bug boss, let's have them go up against him again, or let's just have them getting to the second piece of the Black Hole Generator, so probably won't be seeing too much as you know anytime soon, but certainly enjoyed his character. Like I said, definitely want to know what you guys thought about him and this episode in general, so please comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.